All right, guys, so this is a little tutorial on how to use the TI-30XA for some um, basic chemistry stuff that we do a lot. It's, it's a really nice calculator that, that works really well. Um, probably the first thing you'll, you should know is when you're putting exponents in, that is something times 10 to a power. Here's how you do it. Let's say you're putting in 6.022 <clears throat> times 10 to the 23rd. We well, put the first number in first, 6.022. Then, see that EE -E there? Press that. That means times 10 to the, press EE, -E, and then the exponent, 23. No 10s or anything like that. That means 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. All right, so let's say you're putting a negative, you have a negative exponent. Easy. Let's say 1.609 times 10 to the minus 19th. 1.609 EE -E plus or minus, so that's negative, and then the exponent, 19. And there you go. Right. So another thing that this calculator does, it's really nice, um, is that it converts back and forth between floating point or decimal notation and scientific notation. So let's say we have, it's in decimal notation and floating point now. So let's say we have this number in there and we wanna put it into um, scientific notation. See that SCI right there above the five? It's in green, so press the green second button and then press SCI. Now that is in scientific notation. It says 9.875423 times 10 to the seventh. If we want to go back, see that FLO there? Just press the second button and then FLO and it's back in decimal notation. Another thing that's really useful is its memory. Let's say we're doing a calculation and we get this number and we want to store it so that we can use it later in the calculation. Well, see that STO there? It says store, press that, and then a number like one, two, or three. Now it's in memory one. So let's say we're going and doing some more calculations. Now we're ready for that number to use it. Just pr press recall, RCL, and then the number you put it in, and there it is. Another thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do powers, you know, like cubes, uh, fourth powers, um, and roots. So let's say we wanna take three to the third, um, three to the fourth power. We pr put the, the number in first, the three, then see that y to the x? Press that, then you press the power, four. <clears throat> That's three to the fourth power. If we wanna take a root of it, well, square root's easy, just press that number right there. But if, let's say we wanted to take like a cube root <clears throat> or something like that, well, you put the number in first, let's say nine, then you wanna take the cube root of it. So that x root of y above the y to the x, press second, that button, and then press whatever root, say the third root, cube root, press the three, Enter, that's the cube root of nine. Um, so that's, those are the, some of the basic features uh, that are really nice and hopefully get you, you going.